Well done, Rika. You looked good in the first two rounds. You looked great today. How do you feel about your performance today? I feel so happy to see you, first of all. Um, Thank you very much. I've been, I've been seeing you interviewing all other players, and I was like, when are you going to come see me? So today is my day, and I'm really happy that, that you arrived and here with your presence. Uh, I'm very happy with today's match. I knew it was going to be a tough battle. I felt like I played really, really good first set, um, really kept the pressure. Of course, Elena is a champion. She's a Grand Slam champion. She's been in an amazing form coming off the title, so I knew she's going to come back and, and play strong. So um, I was just trying to you know, find opportunity in that second set to to, to try to get one break back, one break point, one at a time, and play one point, and uh, try to get my chances. And I felt like I got my energy up. I got, I took my opportunity, and uh, yeah, happy to close it out. That was a close one in the last game. <laughs> well, let us. <laughs> Let us squeeze into your mind a little bit. Two five down, saving break points with aces all over the place in that last game. Just let us in that mind, in that champion's mind of yours, because us mortals, we could never. What goes through your mind at those moments? You, you got to speak a little bit more, more uh, fabulously about yourself. You're a champion. You've been here. I, I think everybody still remember the Petco dance on the court, right? <laughs> Um, uh, honestly, what was going through my mind was at 5-2, I was like, okay, she's playing well. She stepped it up. Um, it's just one break. You know, let's just try to uh, hang in there, hold your serve, and then try to find the opportunity. I needed to add a little bit of, of, of power. I felt like a couple balls landed a little bit short. She was able to step in, so I was trying to, like, get some height, get some depth, and, and really fight for it. Like, uh, I was going to make her work really hard to earn the point, and I felt like that, that put a little bit pressure one at a time, and uh, I was able to convert my opportunities. And you mentioned it before. Yes, applause. Always applause. <laughs> you mentioned it before. She's in fantastic form. She's back in the top 10. She won a title last, year, last week. However, you are 4-0 and now against her. What is it about your game that just matches up well against her? Um, well, honestly, I don't really like to play against her. It's not like I'm looking forward to it because she's a tough <laughs> player. And before this match, we, all of our, uh, pretty much all of our battles were very, very close. And uh, three sets, the last two times we played in Brisbane was very, very close. Um, I think that I'm just ready to uh, give whatever it takes. You know, I'm going to stay out here as long as it, as, as it needs to be. And, uh, yeah, just try to find opportunities. Try to, uh, I think I love challenge. Uh, I love the challenge, whatever something is, is um, difficult, uh, I love to do that. That makes me excited. So uh, I think that uh, that brings out probably the best in me. Well, you're the only one in the stadium that likes challenges. We're good for you. You know, you know I, was, I, was, uh, I was looking through some videos today, and uh, uh, I always try to find a way how to talk to, to Leo about, like, uh, you know, sports and mentality. And I thought, um, how can you... How can you um, get to a great place how can you get to to winning titles without pressure that's impossible so i feel like you just can't run away from it you have to face it uh, uh right in front of you and uh it, it's, it's scary, it's, it's difficult, but uh, it's something that you want to uh, acknowledge and go through. I think next time... I think next time you should charge for that keynote speech. Welcome back to the second week of the Australian Open. Vika Azarenka!